What makes a classy lady? Is it kindness, thoughtfulness, being considerate to others, not wearing extra long false nails or wearing false eyelashes? They were some of the answers to a question I asked you in a video I did a while back. The video was called Five Things a Classy Lady Never Does. And the question I asked was, what makes a lady classy? There were some really great comments and I thought in this video I'd share five of the most popular thoughts and opinions on what makes a lady classy. Something that was mentioned most in the comments was humility and being humble. It's something that lots of people considered a trait of a classy woman. A classy woman doesn't need to brag or boast about what she owns or what she doesn't own or what she can or she can't do. And perhaps that comes down to confidence. Others felt that listening was a trait of a classy woman and I couldn't agree more. In fact, I did find an article on Forbes all about the habits of a humble person and listening was one of them. Some other habits were humble people always put others first, they know their self-worth and they don't feel the need to put themselves before others just to show them how much they know. As I said before, humble people really listen and they don't try to dominate a conversation or talk over people. They also take the time to say thank you, regardless of who they're talking to. I'll leave the article below if you'd like to see it. Humility is quite rare these days and it's quite refreshing when you meet someone who doesn't feel the need to boast and brag. A true sign of a classy lady. Another thing that was mentioned quite a lot in the comments was self-care. A classy lady takes care of herself and she takes pride in her appearance. Now that doesn't necessarily mean spending a fortune on lotions and creams and expensive treatments, but more simple things from being showered and clean each day to wearing wrinkle-free clothing. Keeping the nails clean and well manicured was mentioned in the comments. Also, lots of people felt that having too long a fingernails wasn't a very classy look or very practical too. Good skincare is also a really important part of being a classy lady. Not baking in the sun, wearing a high SPF and investing in products that will always make it look its best. Something I've been trying just recently is a sleep and glow pillow. It's an anti-aging pillow that fights night wrinkles and it helps you look a little bit more refreshed in the morning by preventing all the skin being compressed and folded while you're sleeping. I didn't even know a pillow existed to prevent wrinkles, but that's what it does. It's got these two side cradles, which help stop the skin twisting and folding. And it's those that prevent those awful sleep wrinkles. So you wake up looking and feeling a little bit more like they do in the movies, rather than a big hot mess with your hair poking up everywhere and creases all down the side of your face. I sleep on my side, so I put my head into the side cradles, but if you do sleep on your back, which is even better for you, you can put your head into the central cradle. So the parts of my face that are prone to wrinkling, like around my eyes and the cheeks and the little bits at the side of my nose, I rest those in the cradle. And if you need to, you can adjust the height of it because it does come with a foam layer. And it's also made of memory foam, so it does adapt to the shape of your head and your neck. Since I've been using the pillow, I have noticed quite a difference in the morning. I'm not quite as wrinkled and puffed up, I guess. Sadly, I don't look as good as Jennifer Lopez does in the morning, but the pillow is certainly helping. When I used to sleep regularly, there were some times I woke up and I felt like I'd had a really good night's sleep, but then I looked in the mirror and that said a completely different story. But with the pillow, I do actually wake up looking and feeling like I've had a good night's sleep. The pillow actually lasts for five years and there is actually a 30 day sleep trial money back guarantee. So if you don't like it and you don't see the results, you can get your money back. But I think you will. If you want to give them a try, I've got a code for $10 off. It's Gemma10. I'll link that below as well as a link to the website so you can find out a little bit more about the pillow. And in fact, if you do have any questions, then just let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them in the comments box below. Heavy makeup was considered a big no-no and it was mentioned lots of times in the comments. Natural looking makeup is considered far more classy and sophisticated. A classy woman opts for that sort of barely there natural looking makeup and uses products that enhance her features rather than disguises her flaws. She used products that, that brings out the best in her eyes and lips and skin in a really subtle way rather than piling it on.
A classy woman is confident and self-assured and that was a comment that popped up quite a lot. I think it's a quiet confidence. It doesn't come from money or clothes or shouting the loudest or drawing attention to oneself, but it's a more sincere, quiet self-worth and it is confidence, not arrogance. Kindness is a trait of the classy lady and it's the easiest thing to do. It's free, doesn't cost a penny, yet for some people it's the hardest thing. Some people I think just find more pleasure from being mean than what they do being kind, which is quite sad. Just imagine if everybody did something kind for somebody else every day, what a different world we'd live in. Lots of you mentioned that you thought kindness was a trait of a classy lady and I agree with you. It costs nothing to be kind and courteous. I'd love to know if you've got any stories of acts of kindness. Maybe somebody was really kind to you or maybe you were kind to somebody else. However big or small, if it impacted your day, I'd love to hear all about it. So let me know in the comments box. Bye for now.